In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can draw a square in Python using Turtle Graphics. And we're going to produce a program that achieves the following result. I'm going to step through this program, one program instruction at a time, and see how it affects the runtime. If we consider these four program statements, we've seen these in the previous video. But for completeness, let me just quickly go through them here. This will import the Turtle module, allowing us to use the features of Turtle Graphics. This creates an instance of the turtle that's given this name. On this line, we invoke this method and inform the turtle that is to take up the turtle shape. This will create the screen on which we will move the turtle and draw the graphics. And when we execute these statements, you will get this and you will see in the center here, you will have the turtle at position x equals zero and y equals zero. It's at the origin of the graph, the invisible graph that we considered in the last video. Let's now consider this line of code and it's telling the turtle to lift its pen up. Now this means that the turtle when it moves will not leave any trace, it will not draw on the screen. It will allow us then to focus on the movement of the turtle without worrying about the drawing that's created. If we now consider this line, we can see we're referring to the turtle and we're telling it to move forward 200 and we can see that's happening. This line of code informs the turtle that it is to turn towards its left by 90 degrees. And if we observe the turtle, we can see it rotating left by that 90 degrees. We now execute this line, which again is telling the turtle to move forward, and it's telling it to move forward by the same distance. So if you observe the turtle now, you'll see that it indeed moves forward. We now execute this program statement, which informs the turtle to turn left by 90 degrees. And let me stress here, it's left as far as the turtle is concerned. The turtle will turn left by 90 degrees, so it's always with reference to the turtle. And if we have a look at the turtle, you'll see that it is turning to its left. We now execute this line, which we can clearly see is telling the turtle to move forward 200. And of course, it's going to move forward in the direction it is looking. And we can see the turtle moving now, and it's moving forward by the 200 that we specified in the program. We now execute this instruction, which is informing the turtle to turn to its left. So let's observe the turtle, and we can see it turning left by 90 degrees. We now execute this line, which is telling the turtle to move forward in the direction that it is looking. And again, you can see it's moving forward by 200. So if you observe the turtle, you can see it moves forward 200. And of course, now we come on to this, which is telling the turtle to turn to its left by 90 degrees. And if we observe the turtle again, you can see indeed it moves to the left by 90 degrees. It rotates to the left 90 degrees. So it's back where it started at the origin of the invisible graph that we have to imagine is placed upon this screen area. Of course, you can see that the turtle didn't draw anything, and the reason it didn't draw anything is here, if you have a look, I asked for the pen to be lifted up, so the turtle was not able to leave any trace behind by drawing on the screen. If we look at the next program, you see it's going to be exactly the same as this one with the removal of this line, which by default means that the turtle will have its pen down and will leave a line when you move it. So let's move move on now and look at that computer program and its runtime. Now this computer program is almost identical to the one we've just considered. The difference is I've removed the message that asks the turtle to lift its pen up. So if I now run this program, what you're going to see is the turtle move in exactly the same way as we observed when I single stepped through the program, and we're going to see what is achieved. And here you can see it moving forward and turning left. And in fact, you can see that it has left a trail behind because the pen is by default down and you can see that it is drawn a square. 
Let's now consider this computer program, and we know what these four lines are responsible for doing. And again here, you can see that I've moved the pen up. So I'm going to show the movement of the turtle, and it won't be leaving a trace behind. So we execute this line next, and keep your eye on the turtle, and you can see that it's going to rotate to its left by 90 degrees, as you can see. We now go on to this line, which moves the turtle forward by 200 in the direction it's looking and there you can see it's moving forward here we're asking the turtle now to rotate to the right by 90 degrees to the right rotation as the turtle sees it so keep your eye on the turtle and you can see it now rotates to the right we now come here and we move forward 200 and then we come on to this line, which asks it to rotate to the right by 90 degrees. And there you can see that happening. We then move forward 200 and we move to this position. We now look here and we can see it's telling it to rotate to the turtle's right. So the turtle rotates to its right, as you can see, by 90 degrees. It then moves forward 200 and then we go on to this which asks it to rotate right again by 90 degrees as you can see there and we're more or less back at the origin and if you were to imagine what would happen in these circumstances if i had the pen down it would have drawn a square now we're going to have a look at that on the next slide as i'm going to remove this line here and allow the turtle its default value of having the pen down now, if you consider this computer program, you can see it's almost identical to the one we've just considered. The difference is I've removed the message that lifted the pen up. I'm now allowing the turtle to take its default position of having the turtle pen down. So if I now were to run this computer program, the first thing you would see would be the turtle turning to the left by 90 degrees, rotating to the left by 90 degrees because of this program statement and then of course these would be moving the turtle forward and then rotating the turtle to the right by 90 degrees so let's observe that runtime now Now you should have noted that the square that's drawn is exactly the same as the square drawn by the previous program we looked at in this video. The difference being I just moved the turtle in a different direction. Whereas before I was mainly turning left or rotating left and then moving forward 200. For this program I'm mainly apart from this statement here rotating the turtle right as you can see by all of these program statements. So we get the same effect at the runtime in terms of the final shape that is achieved. Before I move on to the next video, I'd like to have a look at this program and point something out. Look at these two lines. We're moving the turtle forward by 200 and then we're rotating it right by 90 degrees. Look at these two lines. They're doing the same. They're moving the turtle forward by 200 and then rotating to the right by 90 degrees. These are the same two lines and these are the same two lines. Now it is possible for us to rewrite this program and we can achieve this by by putting these lines in a loop. Now this is something I will be looking at in the next video. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video.